just welcome to our channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe and hit the bell button. My name is Darius and we are the Lassa family and we are here Madrid to speak. So for today's vlog, um, it's about the uh, ayuda, the alimentos that uh, Caritas were uh, able to give us uh, today. And um, this is such a, a big help and, of course, a blessing. Uh, in these uh, trying times, uh, we really need uh, this kind of help. And um, these, are, these are all the stuff that uh, they gave us. And since um, yesterday we were in um, in the activity of uh, catechesis of Deris, I was not able to to uh, pick up this uh, alimentos, but uh, Habi was able to to get this uh, uh, stuff. So right here we have the uh, coffee, of course. Then uh, the galletas or the biscuits. We have the mermelada, macarones, lentejas, tomate, and um, garbanzos. Uh, of course, the sardines and then the um, chicken cubes, chocolate, and then, of course, milk. And um, we have the, uh, what do you call this one? The pate. And then we have some uh, tuna. Yes, I, I already told you we have this chocolate, and I'm so happy because uh, any chocolates that has uh, nuts or almendras, I have you know, we um, really love that. So, um, and then Teres, could you show uh, them? Uh, the abono or um, the, paper. the paper that uh, Caritas gave us so that we will be able to so to move. so maybe uh, tomorrow we will be able to to go at the Mercado de Barcelo uh, to buy um, a chicken because they gave us like 10 euros uh, to buy some chicken from Poleria El Sabroso, and then we have the um, Fruteria Eva, and that's 20 euros as well. So we could buy 20 euros worth of fruits and vegetables. And then we also have in here the uh, Pescaderia Molina, we could buy also 20 euros um, worth of uh, fish or seafoods. And um, so that's all in all, that's uh, 50 euros. And um, so we would like to thank the um, Caritas. This is our second time to receive this kind of uh, help or ayuda. And um, we would like to extend our, our gratitude. Thank you so much, Caritas, for helping us uh, in this uh, uh, difficult times. So I am guys. Uh, these are all the uh, the stuff that they gave us so uh, tomorrow we will be able to uh, buy the the stuff that uh, using the abono the 50 euro euros abono so um, that's it uh, thank you for uh watching and um just stay tuned and uh, we'll be we'll update you tomorrow once we are in the mercado de Marcel. okay Therese, you have to give me everything okay all the stuff there so that i will be able to organize it in the cabinet okay okay and what is this so uh hi guys so uh this is these are the uh stuff that they gave us uh uh last month because this is going to be their uh second uh, the our second time and the second wave for the uh, caritas and so i still have the some stuff well it's because we still have like 
lentejas and then uh, we have chocolate so I'm probably gonna be organizing all of this so give me all the uh, these sardines actually guys so during the state of alarm uh, there's a lot of uh, help that you could uh, ask from uh, some of the uh, local government unit that uh, here in Spain but of course you have to what they call that you have to apply for it it's um, you could call the 010 um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna explain to you in um, one of these days I'm just waiting for the confirmation of the uh, Servicio Sociales about the, the help that I actually applied for and then so that is you could probably eat this one okay so you have to put it down and so I have to consume I'm taking out the um, so I used to do the first in first out so I have to use the the older ones that they gave me me and then so since it, it's already summer we have a lot of uh like this um, tiny pastas that you could use for soup but since it's summer already, we just can't do that for now. So maybe in the winter. And then we have rice, of course. <gasps> okay, so this is what I'm... As long as I have... They, they, they give us rice, sugar, sardines and uh, coffee I'm fine for that one so actually some of the stuff we really don't need it we can maybe we don't use to to eat those maybe there is this uh, this macarones we could probably since March, since day one of the the quarantine, we've been eating macarones already. Because we can just like eat the whole time. Um, rice. So we have to. Sometimes we have to. have an alternate uh, option instead of eating rice so since we don't have that much uh, potatoes of course uh, uh, the pastas are the uh, the alternate options so there is a uh, this chocolate uh, you could put it in the fridge and then this um, they also gave a uh, some of a uh, toothpaste and then shampoo and then laundry laundry um, powder and of course a coffee so I guess you have to get this one I don't have space already I only have a little space on my What else? No, that one no. Tissues. 
Okay, so now my my um, kitchen cabinet is. I only have one kitchen cabinet, so it's full already. So happy! Uh, it is his turn to eat all of the sardines, and then the tuna. I used to use that for uh, making tuna sandwich bread. And then maybe I had to do something with the uh, with the garbanzos and then uh, the beans, the white beans that they gave us also. And then the lentejas or in the Philippines we call it mungo. Since I'm not really into eating lentejas or mungo. Um, of course, for the kids in Habu, they, they, they can eat that one. So, we also have plenty of uh, arena de trigo or the flour. So, I'm using that one whenever I have to do pancakes. Okay. So... I have to so I'm done with the uh, organizing so maybe tomorrow I'm gonna do the buying stuff okay so after organizing I would like to also show you guys and uh, include uh, some photos and videos of the first wave so that's it guys if you like this video please like share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel which is team lovesia and um, hit the notification bell for future updates of our videos and uh, next vlogs